Our story begins long long ago. In fact, more than 210 millions of years ago. It was a time when giant dinosaurs ruled the earth. They were the undisputed kings of the planet earth for 100 million years. So long was the reign that we human being find it more convenient to count their time period in eras rather than in years or even millions of years. At the time in the past the earth itself did not resemble the planet as we used to know it now there existed a huge landmass which is called as the pangaea or as some scientists call it as a gondwana land that lay across the sphere running from the north pole to the south pole of our infant earth temperatures at that time were generally warmer allowing plants and animals to live at much higher northern and southern latitudes Therefore dinosaurs roamed across the landmass and adapted themselves to live even in the regions near to extreme poles about 210 million years ago the giant continent pangaea began to disintegrate and drift apart where the land separated the waters of the oceans rushed in to form new seas over the next 120 million years the massive pieces of pangaea drifted across the oceans of the earth taking up new position north america and europe which had been a single landmass drifted apart and the atlantic ocean spread out in between them the african continent floated lazily for millions of years before it joined up with asia gradually the world began to assume more of its modern day appearance in the beginning the land that was to become india lay almost at the south pole of earth tucked in between two other land masses that would eventually become antarctica and australia when the land mass broke up into the southern region australia was set adrift so too was the triangular plate that would eventually become india this plate of land floated steadily north towards the mass of land that would one day become asia while the continents were adrift the dinosaurs achieved the peak of their reign they had ruled the earth for million years but quite abruptly they disappeared from the face of the earth and never to be seen again the race of creatures that benefited the most from the disappearance of this terrible dinosaurs was a group of tiny rat like creatures as the floating indian subcontinent approached asia the sea was forced out and finally about 50 million years ago the two vast land masses met head on as india rammed into asia and there were terrible upheavals on both side on the asian side the land was pushed upwards creating the high lands of tibet and on the indian side two giant slabs of rock were pushed up into the sky and these were to become the mighty himalayas the highest mountains in the world the force of collision of the floating landmass was so great that for millions of years the land was in upheaval and during this time the himalayas were shaped the rocks rose upwards and then tumbled aside again and again as a fresh seismic activity shook the newly formed regions and finally the force of collision of the floating landmass was exhausted and the himalayas as we now know them had been formed The remnants of the prehistoric oceans that had closed in were lifted thousands of feet high into the mountains and became the two great watersheds of the region. Flowing to the east were the Ganges and the Brahmaputra and flowing to the west were the five rivers which formed the basin of the Indus valleys. Along these river valleys millions of years later would grow some of the world's greatest civilization. and this is how the indian subcontinent had been born i hope you like the video if you think this video has helped you then please like and share it with your friends also subscribe and press the bell icon for such new post let me know your feedback in the comments below thank you for watching